What is going on, everybody? Man, it's been two weeks. I've been itching. I've been I've been needing it, bro. But guys, it is here, man. Now, if you've noticed, you know your boy got the fresh cut, man. My barber, he was asking me, he was like, Mercon, man, you got a hot date tonight? And I said, you're damn right I got a hot date with the best-selling manga in history. Nearly the second best-selling comic of all time, man. And if you guys are, are buying the volumes, man, shout out to y'all, man. One of these days, one of these days I'm going to have to start, uh... A, a little video, man. I want to show y'all my collection. That way you guys can show me a collection as well. But anyways, that's in the future. I will see y'all then, man. But regardless, guys, we're here to talk about the greatness, the awesome sauce of One Piece, man. Dude, on the way here, I was listening to the, you know, you know the One Piece Beautiful soundtrack collection, the one with the um, Ace Rouge and Ace, uh, or Ace Rouge and uh, Roger Pick. Heavenly soundtracks, man. You know, it just it, it makes you grateful and thankful for the fact that you're able to live through this series weekly, man. Like it's it's beautiful, dude. But anyways, I, it won't be chapter 889, man. We're gonna be reading this on J Box. Um, before I get into this, though, I want to plug the top five favorite One Piece chapters of 2017 that I'm doing here on the channel. Um, I'm gonna leave a video to that in the description box down below if you want to go vote. Now, uh, the reason why I wasn't promoting it as much is because I knew there was at least one more chapter left in the year. And I knew that some people were going to wait to cast their vote until this chapter came out. Because you never know, man. This chapter could be the best chapter of, of 2017. So, yeah, man, if you would like to vote, I'm going to leave that video in the description box down below so that you can go vote for your top five favorite One Piece chapters. And then that is going to lead into the very first live edition of the Recons piece, man. I'm really, really excited for that. To Not only to just do a One Piece stream again, but to have my first ever live edition of the Recons piece. And we're going to be talking about, you know, our top five favorite One Piece chapters of the year. And, you know, it's just the moments, the awesome moments from this year, what are our predictions for next year, and that kind of stuff, man. So, uh, I'm planning on doing that before the year ends, but you never know what happens, man. I'm just going to go with the flow and see what goes down. But, yeah, man, definitely look forward to that. It's going to be a lot of fun. And I just thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much for the support. And without further ado, let's get right into the awesome sauce, man. I've been dying to read uh, 889, dude, especially after the last chapter with the carrot awesome sauce, dude. We got to see what goes down, man. What's going down in the DMs? All right, so let's see. And, oh, I, I saw this yesterday. Somebody posted this online, the, um, the color page. We see uh, Mink Luffy right here with uh, Mink Deku, uh, Mink uh, Hinata right here on this side. Look at <laughs> I didn't notice again. Freaking Gintoki, that fits him so well, man. Emma, dude, promised Goderland, son. Listen, man, if you're if you're if you're watching this video, you never watched Promise Neverland. There's a reason why I have it up there on the shelf, man. Promise Neverland is greatness, man. I highly recommend it. I'm not even caught up, and I really, really love the series. But this is this is a nice color page. But shout out to my boy Luffy right there in the middle, man, with the fang is coming down. Mink Luffy coming in clutch. He even has little um. The, the, the little type of things that he had on his ears in a strong world in the strong world movie so let's get right into this awesome sauce man i'm very very excited yo chapter 889 an unknown mama whoa i haven't seen leo in the squad in a minute and then we have a uh, violet and rebecca in the background we're up in leo man G good times good times uh, Tales of the self proclaimed Stride Grand Fleet, Volume 22, Leo Arc. So now we're going into, uh, you know, we just left the Ideo stuff, and before that, you know, the Cavendish and the Psy stuff. So now we're going into the Leo stuff, so this will be pretty nice. Now, now seeing Rebecca and Violet, because we, at least I'm going to assume that Rebecca, well, you know, she's got to be, she, she's definitely got to um, attend the Reverie. So we're going to be seeing Re Rebecca here uh, pre-Reverie, um, so that'll be, that'll be nice to see, man. Shout out to the designs, man. Let's go right here. Let's go. Look at carrots. Dude, this form is so sick. Here comes Daifuku coming in. Aladdin coming right out of the thing like it's straight from Kingdom Hearts. You damn little rabbit. Let's do this. Yo, he said, bring it on, bro. Bring it on. Genie. Rub, rub, rub. Did you call for me, Master? And he comes right out, man. Yo, Sanji was laying the smack down on Daifuku. Time, time to show you. What we can do, and he goes right down. He just slashes, and you see a whole bunch of things just get split in right down the middle. Come on, 
with, with your carrot. Look at, dude, carrot, this carrot form is so flippin' sick, dude. It legit, it, like, every single time I look at it, I'm just like, oh, like, ugh, godly stuff, man. And a lot of you guys loved it as well, because I saw chapter 888 pop up a lot in, in the top five favorite One Piece chapters of the year that uh, so out of the people that voted this far. So, man, yo, man, we, we all really enjoyed that chapter, dude. Please stop! Master Daifuku! And you just see things coming down on the floor. This, this, this panel's glorious from an art standpoint. But look at Carrot up here, man. Damn, Hershey took the helms again. Bastard! That crafty little rabbit. Here we go, that crafty little rabbit, yo. I was like, <laughs> On some Bugs Bunny stuff, dude. On some pre, uh, back in the day, Bugs Bunny stuff, man. Oh, wabbit, yo, man. You can't tell me that's not nostalgic. She, she's jumping around from ship to ship. She's truly amazing. Carrot is able to do something like that. That's my little sis. Whoa, Carrot. And I, I, the people were shipping Carrot and Chopper, but apparently Chopper, uh, Oda shut that down quick. Oda said, ships. We sink ships around here. You're gonna push that junk down to the that. My boy Chopper's in a friend zone, or you know what I mean? Little sis. So to every single person that I saw last week saying that it would be Chopper X Carrot, my boy Oda said, nah. <laughs> my boy Oda said, you could take that ship and you can sink it, son. Dang. If the moon cycle and weather conditions are favorable, the minks are quite strong. Absolutely, man. Which is exactly why, uh, going into the moon cycle thing, now we have to assume that Wano is going to take place whenever there's a moon out, uh, so that that way, uh, you know, the minks can go into like swimwear, which means that Wano at some point in time is going to have to take place during the night. So, so that way that the minks are able to go into like swimwear. But absolutely, man, if the moon cycle and weather conditions are favorable, the minks are quite strong. I can't wait to see the other ones, man. Because, you know, of course, not everyone has this. You know, have to train to get this. But of course, like the ones that are above Carrot, like let's just say like um like a Wanda, a, uh, a Nekomamushi and Rashi, dude. Nekomamushi and Rashi have got to be damn near Yonko level in this. Bro, can you imagine? Prime Nekomamushi and Inarashi in this form? What? Dude, they are going in, bro. I'm. That's a form I would love to see in a video game. I mean, I want to use this carrot form in a game. But can you imagine Nekomushi and Rashi? What? It is said that when the minks gaze in an, 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 at an unobscured full moon, their feral instincts are awakened from the depths of their memories. That white beastly form is called Sulong. Sulong? Originally, the transformation made them lose their minds and caused, caused damage indiscriminately. It was troublesome for both other people and themselves. What do you mean? If the Ming tribe is unable to suppress themselves, within one night they will die from the exhaustion of fighting. That makes sense. That makes sense because in the berserk form, uh, while, while in this state, you know, th their body is not normally used to go and do something like this. So it, it would eventually pass them and even die from exhaustion. Makes a lot of sense, but I just I didn't see it that way. I, th I thought that they had to train it in order to, uh, you know, hone the, the fact that they can control this, that they can control this this state. But I didn't know that they could kill them, man. That's crazy. If the Ming Charm is unable to suppress themselves within one night, they will die from the exhaustion of fighting, especially if they're fighting somebody strong, man, like a Jack. Like whenever Jack in invaded, uh, I can only imagine like um. Like if, if 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 they would have caught like the Kaido pirates like on a run. Oh man, dude. Now that I'm thinking about it, hey, are they able to go back into that like berserk state? Because carrot, carrot's in complete, in complete control. But like, let's just say if they were able to go even deeper into the feral instincts, and their transformation makes them lose their minds, uh, like completely, just like how Chopper's original, like like his monster point, um, originally, like he he had no control, and he just started attacking everything that by God moved. So is it? It's got to be something like that then. But if that's the case. Because we know that Chopper has, has control as monster as, as monster point, but um, if they go even deeper into the feral instincts, is it possible to once again lose themselves? Is that, that give them more power? Because of course it'll be kind of like an ultra instinct type of thing, ultra mink instinct as uh, Frago uh, called it. But um, you know, going into the ultra mink instinct state, which would be like past what the the the, the point of control. I'm going back into like the, just a pure instinct of 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 the animal, you know, of of their own of their feral instincts, like like they said. Is it possible to go back to that once once you're in control? I'm curious. Well, we'll have to see. We'll have to see.
It's, it's a double-edged sword. So basically, it's a combat technique that reduces your lifespan. Man, dude, so many things in the series that Oda, you know, creates to just, just to say, you know, it, it reduces your lifespan, man. But it makes sense because it just, it makes it so that it's not OP. Something that I, that I love about One Piece is uh, power scaling. Ca Carrot stealing the enemy's helms is truly a genius tech strategy. With that in mind, I'll provide assist assistance until we are close enough to fight too. yoo -hoo -hoo! Assistance? Brooke? You best believe my boy. Look at Brooke, bro. He's on the sea. Brooke's gonna be like, yo, big mom, where you at? Young lady, let's box. yo -hoo -hoo! Oh, that's right. He can walk on the sea because he's so light. Yo, man, Brooke, Brooke, Brooke has been amazing this year, man. He really has. Let's leave the securing of the escape route to the two of them. Stop right there. There's enemies on the back side as well. Yeah. Here we go. And here, here's Big Mom, bro. I've been wanting to see, you know, what, what's what's going down with Big Mom. You know, why does she look so skinny? Prometheus. Look at this, bro. She looks mad exhausted. Prometheus. Big Brother Peros. Mama's acting strange, isn't she? Zeus. Perudin. Yes, I know. Holy flagnards, dude. Look at Ma look at Big Mom, bro. She looks legit like dehydrated at this point. Then is it is it what I was talking about last week? To where if she hasn't had food in, in like a good minute that, that she just starts losing weight like at a you know, a drastic uh, pace. She's becoming skinnier and, and she's having a hard time breathing. Call for Zeus and Prometheus right now. That's what Mama wants. It's been eight hours since her eating disorder was triggered. We've never had a problem stopping Mama's fit of rage before. And I've never seen Mama this starved. That's what it is. That's what it is, man. Because of the way that her body works, if she does not gain the, the right the right nutrients, because she's always wasting so much energy, and, and, you know, especially right here in her berserk stage, going and running and running and running and running, causing all this power to come up, it doesn't come out of nowhere. It has to come up from your own energy. So knowing Mama, her energy comes from comes from food. So, you know, in a similar state to where whenever Luffy does not get his food, you know, he's like extremely weaker than usual. And then whenever he eats, whenever he eats meat, he goes in there, he's a 100% again. That's how all of us are. And especially, I, I can definitely see that for the Big Mom Pirates, which their their entire ability is based off of food. You know, even for, for me on a personal standpoint, if I don't eat, man, if I don't if I don't get my break and eat, man, I, for those next couple of hours, bro, I mean, I can, I'll be able to bounce back and I'll be like, yo, it's, it's all good because gas eventually like fills up that the void. And um and for a little bit, like it'll hurt, you know, because the gas hurts. But you know, for a little bit, you know, you'll, you'll still have a little bit of energy. But... When it comes to Big Mom here, she needs food in her system, man. Because we all know that it, in order to do anything, like whenever you don't have food in your system, man, it's tough. It's tough, bro. You know, it's hard to think. It's hard to do stuff and whatnot. So I can most certainly see uh, what, what's what's happening to Big Mom here, especially since she's been wasting so much energy, you know, chasing out and chasing in this berserk stage. Even for us, the mama from here on out is an unknown monster. Dang, so that's where the title comes from, an unknown mama. Even for us, you know, even as her children, even for us, the mama from here on out is an unknown monster, Perodin. Will we have to wait it out until we get to Cacao Island? That reminds me, big bro, Peros. A report came in that Pudding is currently transporting the cake in our direction on a ship. Is that true? She's our guardian angel. Yo. Pudding's gonna come in. They're gonna save her. Well, if she, if she eats it, we'll, we'll, we'll see. You know, she has to eat it. She has to eat it. She has to eat it. There's more big bro, big, big bro, big bro petals. It's true that pudding is coming, but the cake is actually being transported by Beige's ship. Perodine? Why is it that? Why is the cake that's going to save this country on that assassin ship? I'm not sure. What are we gonna do now? There's no way that cake isn't sabotaged. Yo, they're thinking the worst pit cop possible scenario. The worst case scenario, bro. 9 p.m. within the territory bees of ship. Stop joking around. I will absolutely not allow that. This cake will definitely reach Big Mom's mouth, right? What kind of idiot wouldn't add in poison or explosives? You got you don't know how Sanji is, bro. Going back to the very beginning, he doesn't care how evil or how good a person is. If they are hungry, if they are starved, he does not give a flying flag nard. He will feed them. It doesn't matter if this person is about to kill them. It doesn't matter what's going to happen. He, he, he cannot allow himself to see someone starving and not give them food, man. Knowing Sanji's backstory, knowing his flashback with Seth, bro, how can you not understand where Sanji's coming from here, bro? I mean, it's facts. It's facts, Sanji. I completely understand where you're coming from, even though it's Big Mom. Even though it's a person that, if you were to give her all the energy back in the world, she might even kill your entire crew, but Sanji cannot bring himself to, to, to leave her starving. He can't do it, bro. 
completely 100% where he's coming from right here, man. Because everyone is equal when they're starving. Everyone, bro. This cake will definitely reach Big Mom's mouth, right? We're gonna make idiot with not a poison or explosive bees. You don't understand, bro. At this moment, you have the opportunity to take out one of the Yonko, but Sanji does not give a flying flag, Nard, bro. At, at some point in time, you've got to look at it from his perspective. Do you even realize how big of an opportunity this is right now? Shut up, this is a battle with a cook's pride on the line. You tell him. Don't interfere. The taste alone will defeat the enemy. Ah, stop dreaming. You really think that you can make a cake that will surpass your greatest in imagination? Don't try, my boy Sanji, bro. My boy Sanji made whipped cream that had pudding like, woo! You know what I mean? Bro, she wanted to taste the boy's whipped cream. This is the same woman who has eaten all of the delicious snacks from around the world throughout her lifetime. What you're trying to achieve is impossible. Yeah. Well, if we don't make the cake, our lives are as good as gone. Is that what you want? Even if we succeed, they definitely won't let us leave alive. I don't know, but I don't know, but... Do you know what kind of person Big Mom was in the past? If we don't get rid of her now, we will definitely regret it later. Yeah! That's gotta be pudding. That's gotta be pudding, bro. Father! Father! Master, what did you do, Father? Blackleg. What, what did you... Oh, oh, that was Capone! All equal when presented with food, bro. Capone is over here saying all this stuff. Sanji proceeded to put one little fork, one little bite inside of his mouth. And my boy, Capone had a food gasm. Shout out to Soma. Just straight up. Yeah! <laughs> and he hits the floor, bro. He's on the floor. He's smiling. He's drooling. And he's like, yo, we hit it. Black, like, what exactly did you make father eat? We should ask him. This cream, that's so good that I could go to heaven right now. He's about to die from the deliciousness. Yo, I'm telling you, bro. Let Big Bomb be presented with this cake, bro. She's gonna pass out. She's gonna fly from there to Elbath. She's gonna fly from her position over to Elbath. That's how good my boy Sanji's cooking is, man. Capone best not try Sanji again like that, baby. Sanji, don't fake. Listen up, Beach. You're feeling. <laughs> <laughs> Even bees, man. When presented with Sanji's cooking, they all falter, bro. You're free, you're free to try to assassinate her if you want. But do that after I have filled the stomach of my guest. Let her know, bro. Let him know. I will feed those that want to eat. That's a cook's job. You're damn right. <laughs> Man, she's just, she's out, bro. She's unconscious. We've seen her nosebleed. We've seen her just, uh, We've seen her talk about the whipped cream. We've seen her, you know, everything about the Believe in 2020, 2017 movement. But she couldn't take it anymore, bro. She couldn't take it anymore. My boy Sanji said, I will feed those that want to eat. People's eyebrow. That's a cook's job. Pudding looked at that, and it was over. It was over for her life, yo. <laughs> Miss Pudding? And she's just... Heart eyes, nose bleeding. I mean, just. <laughs> Yo, yeah, man, the pudding panels to me, bro. That's this. Th these panels of pudding and Sanji are the MVP of 2017. No question. <laughs> She's out cold, bro. Out cold. See, she, she couldn't handle Sanji's greatness, bro. She's out. I gotta save this battle. Y'all know me, man. Y'all know me. <laughs> Yo. She, she, bro, and you know that she was holding it in for a minute, bro. Because, like I said, in past couple times, it was nosebleed. It was <laughs> just straight up, uh, just straight up, mm, everything. But nah, bro, this drove her past the line. She couldn't hold it anymore, bro. She could not hold it in anymore. <laughs> Pudding, man. Bees, it's been a while, but even I helped out this time around. Believe in the power of snacks. Ah, oh, damn it. It's like I've been hypnotized. 
but this bliss is spreading throughout my mouth. Now let's hurry, as, as the nappe been complete, nappe is the cream coating on a cake. Really? I didn't know that. Just a little more, Miss, Miss Chief on two cooks that fall into the sweet aroma. Two cooks <laughs> fall into the sweet aroma, bro. Yeah, they can't even handle it. They're inhaling it, nothing Torico stuff. They're inhaling it and they're passing out. They're just like, somebody hold me. <laughs> it's like whenever Pudding looks at Sanji, bro, she just she can't handle it. Please be safe. I'm writing to you now, Nami-san. Within the territory at sea, Zeus and Prometheus. Here we go. We haven't seen them since that one chapter. Hurry, hurry. Which way? Straight ahead. I can feel Napoleon's presence. It's because you went back to eat the forest fire. The one that's caused me so much harm, Zeus. I can't believe you let yourself be used by the enemy. We are homies that were born straight from Mama's soul. Mama won't let you off easily if she finds out that you betrayed her to eat. Now, I don't even think Mama would even... I mean, in terms of eating-wise, you know, they, they went back just to do... You know, they all come from Mama's soul. Their 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 born thing, their survival. What what their main base for living is is to go out and get some damn darn food, some good food, man. It's gonna make them have a food gasm. So I don't think I mean, of course, Mama would be like mad for a little bit, but it, once once she once she find out that it was for food, man, she'd be like, hey, you got it, you got it, man. I'm sorry. Within the territory, the sunny carrot. Come on, man. Let me see some carrot greatness up in here, man. The helm isn't working. We're going to be swept away. A path opened up. Look at it, bro, look at this movement! Look at the hang time, look at the flying motion, bro! Straight up just in the air majestically, just... Ooh. Look at this panel! Carrot is waxing dudes majestically. I mean, pose, knees up, the form is right. Talking about some JoJo pose in midair, son. Some, ooh, some, ooh. Some, ooh, yeah, carry no blades. Uh, I love this Su Long form, dude. And she goes right down, flips onto the floor, and just whacks right behind all these dudes. She, she, and she still has the helm in hand, taking out all of these dudes. Hel the helm goes, goes gets into the water. She's breathing heavily. Oh, here we go. My consciousness is fading. I'll have to stop soon. How many of them are left? So she can only hold this thing for for, for, for a little bit, right? Um, well, I know that what Jinbei was saying is uh, earlier, but my consciousness is fading. I'll have to stop soon. So if her consciousness fades, does she go into the berserk state? Or does she die from exhaustion? Because you know that we know that this form takes up a lot of energy. So... Does she slip into the berserk stage and then dies from exhaustion? Or, or or if she keeps this up, will she just immediately die from exhaustion? I'm going to assume it's the die from exhaustion part. Because maybe after you control this form uh, or this state of, of your, you know, going in right into your feral instincts, then, you, you know, you, can, you have complete control over it. So, but it takes up a lot more energy because you have control over it. And then you'll, that'll lead you into dying from exhaustion. I'll have to stop soon. How many of them are left? Carrot, man, you did your best. You did your best, baby. She went in, son, just on all fronts. Let's go. Oh, here comes Daifuku. And Daifuku just straight up coming out. Genie shredding. Shoo. And just straight up waxes. I mean, right down the middle of the ship goes. And Carrot goes, Shoo. They'll be okay. Carrot son, even though it's only a little bit of an assistance, I've made the ship over there fall asleep. Baron corpse! That's more than enough. Let's, let's go back to the ship. You saved me. That's our line. Yeah, that, that's definitely our line, man. Karen went into like swimwear. How do you turn back to normal? If I just block my eyes from seeing the moonlight, I'll be able to turn back. Oh, okay. So it's just that she doesn't have to look at the moonlight. That makes sense. That, that goes like um classic, uh, w um, you know, with wolves um, uh, transforming, the, those, those type of stories. Uh, we can use a hat or some sunglasses, but closing our eyes is fine, too. The moonlight from a full moon enhances our abilities. That was truly beautiful. yo -ho -ho! Yo, Brooke coming in. Save the day once more, bro. Carrot and Brooke greatness. Every single character within this, within our, our Strat crew right here has had, has had a really, really good year, man. We look at Brooke, we look at Jimbei, we look at Nami, we look at Chopper, we look at Carrot. You know, every every single person right here on, on, on the Sunny at this point in time, they've had one hell of a year. And then you look at everybody else, man, like my boy Sanji, look at Luffy. It's been it's been a great year for, 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 for the crew here, man. It's like everyone has had their own different moments to shine, and it makes me really, really happy. It makes me really, really happy because within this arc, we have so many different moments that we can look back to and say, yeah, they had this awesome moment, this awesome thing, this awesome thing. So... 
really good stuff from Oda to, you know, spread around the love for the characters. Big Bro Pedos, uh, Big Brother Daifuku can't do anything anymore. The fleet is being swept away by the currents. Daifuku, how useless. Thank you, Carrot. We escaped from a big pinch. We were surrounded and about to be sunk. <laughs> Can I go stay in a room where there's no moonlight? Yo, she's tired, man. Can you blame her, bro? Hey, Mama, hey, are you okay? Napoleon, change into a blade. Here we go. <laughs> bro, she said screw it. And she, she's just, she, she flies right up in the air. And she's going to chase after him. Zeus, Prometheus, are you here? Yes, we just arrived. Bro, look at Big Mom! Look at her hair! Bro, it's hair. She's riding us off of Zeus! And Prometheus became her hair! And the hair has a soul of its own! It's like, yeah! Bro, she's like Son Goku on the Nimbus! Bro, talking about some Chala! Hechala! Kiru Gari! He's sparking. You can't tell me that's not Big Mama right now, man. She's singing Shala, head Shala, bro. She's heading towards him, bro. Holy flag nards. Look at her hair, dude. I can't. This is a beast design. This is a beast design. Big Mom, and it's, it's a little cape going out from the back. She's got the tattoo going down right on top of Zeus. Like, yeah, I control this. Got Napoleon one hand. Got the Prometheus hair coming right down the back. Yo, this is a sick floor, dude. It's really, really awesome. Really, really nice. I love this. I, I, I gotta save this, man. I'm not gonna put this in the in the thumbnail because I don't want to spoil anybody. But this, this, this is this is a phenomenal panel, man. I, I love, love, love this design. This looks freaking beast. I love the smile on the Prometheus, the hair. It just makes it look menacing. It really, really does. Is that Mama? She looks like a whole different person. She's so light. Ah, wedding cake. And she's still chasing after them, bro. I'm almost barely out of energy. Has not eaten. She's starving. Has no energy. And she's still going in. This is the power of a Yonko, son. Big Mama's coming! Look at this bubble bean spread! And Big Mom goes right down, lands right in front of the sun. No, 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 not right in front. She lands on the sunny. Goodness gracious, bro, but it's in front of you. Holy flag nards. She's right in front. Where is the cake? You guys stand down. Be prepared to abandon ship. No, 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 don't, 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 don't end it, don't end it, don't end it, bro, don't end it. <laughs> We've been, we've been presented with every single possible bad scenario in this arc. But this is by far the, the, the worst case scenario. There is, there is no, there has never been a more drastic situation in the entirety of this series. Not even when Kuma separated the Straw Hat. This is, to me, the most drastic situation. A Yonko, uh, an enraged berserk, Prometheus, freaking Shala, head Shala looking big mom, is enraged. She's on the ship. She's on the ship! Normally, they're at least able to, you know, coup de burst somehow out of there. Jim Bacon use the water, you know. Big Mom is on the ship. She's on the sunny. She is on the mother flipping sunny. And look at how big she is. I mean, she's hung. The tongue is out like she's Michael Jordan. Something was like, yeah. Holy flag, Nards, bro. How are they? Unless Sanji is about to get there. How are they going to? What are they going to do? Carrot is exhausted. You know, the entire damn crew. It, it, who's, I mean, not, even if Carrot wasn't exhausted, they can't stand up to Big Mom. And she's on the ship. What well, Jinbei's saying is factual. He's the voice of reason. He says, you guys stand down and be prepared to abandon ship. They got to escape. They got to they get out. I mean, uh, we love the Thousand Sunny. But at the same time, man, what does this mean for the Sunny? This can't be it for the Thousand Sunny, bro. Nah, man. We, the Thousand Sunny is, is going to be the ship that takes us into Raftel, bro. Hey, this can't be it for the Sunny. So Big Mom arrives on the Sunny. She's on top of it. Luffy's still fighting Katakuri, so he can't come here to save to save the Sunny. I don't know how far Sanji is from here. 
yeah, this is, this, this is what I call a drastic situation, man. This, this is a drastic situation, bro. This is, this is reaching Kuma levels. I don't know what's gonna happen. You guys stand up and prepare to abandon ship. But if they abandon ship, does that mean abandoning the plan? Where are they gonna go? Because if they go from, from here, where are they gonna go? They're surrounded, guys. They're surrounded by the entire damn fleet. They're surrounded by everybody. <sighs> this is bad. This is bad. Because at, at the very least, like I said before, we would have the Thousand Sunny to, at the very least, coup de burst or, or move out of there you, somehow, some way. As long as you're on the Sunny, they're not there. Ba Oda said, screw that. I'm putting Big Mom on the Sunny. What you gonna do now? That's a checkmate. That's a checkmate, bro. She's on your own field. She, she, that, that's like going right into your playing chess, man. You wipe, you wipe this one. You wipe the rook. You go in and you're right in front of the queen. You're right in front of the king. Checkmate. She's right there. She's on their only way of escaping. The only way Big Mom is going to be able to calm down ahora is por picoche, por cake. But how in the flying flag are they going to possibly get the cake? And then Jim Bay, bro. Jim, Jim, Jim Bay looks serious. He better not try anything crazy. Because if Jim Bay, he says, you guys stand down, be prepared, be prepared to abandon ship. He doesn't say we. So does Jim Bay plan on fighting Big Mom by himself and allowing them to escape? They're not going to allow him to do that. Oh, Jim Bay, bro, nah, man. They, they, hold up, bro. Not my boy Jim Bay, dog. Holy flag nards, bro. This chapter went from me being, yeah, we're going to do this. Big Mom is, she, you know, she's feeling exhausted to, you know, carrots going in, allowing at some point of escape here. The helm's been taken off. We're going to go in like somewhere. Daifuku's been taken out. We're good. You know, going back, Sanji, you know, the cakes taste so good. You know, people have been saying, you know, the cake's not going to do anything. Then we see Capone get taken out, put some cooks are passing on by the aroma. You know, Oda's telling us, like, yeah, man, the cake's gonna do it. But will the cake get there in time? That's the question. That That is what Oda presented to us here. Oda, instead of instead of just, like, you know, leaving us questioning, you know, how is the cake gonna be the one to do the job? We know the cake can do the job. It's, it's taking out cooks to got Capone, putting, look at Sanji, she's already down the floor. So we know what the, what the, what the, what the cake can do. And, and like Sanji said... I'm not allowing any type of poison or anything, so like you can take all that out of there. So the cake by itself is gonna be the one thing to take out Big Mom. And then Oda presents this scenario with freaking Prometheus and Zeus coming right back to Big Mom. Big Mom gets on the Nimbus call. She chala head chalas over to the sunny, and, and here we are. Here we are. And in a situation even worse than what we were previously. Because at least before, you know, it was the ships, Big Mom was only back there, but I know this time, she flew, bro, she hopped. I mean, you want to talk about Euro step, man, if you guys watch basketball, bro, you know how LeBron takes one step, he goes over here, jumps all over here. No, no, screw that, Giannis, you know Giannis Antetokounmpo. My boy will take like the massive steps, man, Joel Embiid, massive steps, go right into the, into the lane, bro, lay it in, lay it in over here, a little dunk. They take massive steps, bro. Big Mom went beyond that. She went all the way from the half court line and pulled some MJ stuff, Dr. J, bro, back in 76. That was some, look at the hang time. You saw how far she went? I mean, she flew, son. Like that one boss in Cuphead. That was some, I mean, she flew until she high, she, chala, he shala, her way's over there. Good God, man. And it is this form. This form is so beast. It's the hair. Your big mom looks so flipping goat. And the hair, dude, the hair is right here. She's got Napoleon, bro. She's riding on top of a Zeus. It doesn't. I gotta respect Oda for always knowing how to make the situation much more drastic. But at the same time, like, whenever you leave me in the scenarios, man, I love the straw hats. I don't want anything to happen to the sunny, bro. Like, this is the ship that's going to take us into Raftel. I don't know what's going to happen, guys. I don't know. But this line right here does not, it, 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 it leaves a bad taste in my mouth. It leaves a scary taste in my mouth. You guys stand down. Be prepared to abandon ship. That scares me. I don't want Jinbei to die. I really don't, guys. And Big Mom is, in, is enraged. She's in berserk mode. Even though she does not have her energy, now she is pissed. She is angry. With a flowing Prometheus hair, man. <sighs> I don't know, but guys. That's a beautiful panel from an art standpoint, by the way. But I'm spooked. I'm spooked, man. 2018 is going to be insane for One Piece, bro. If this is the last chapter of the year, oh, what a way to end the year, Oda. 
What a way to end the year because holy sweet mother of Flagnards, man. You guys have an awesome day, man. I will see you all in the comments section. I'm going to reread this arc uh, this week to prepare myself for this uh, for this um, top five because I, I got to make my own top five list. I think I have a good idea of which chapters are going to be there, but I want to reread just in case. Um, this chapter was... This, this you want to talk about you want to talk about building the stakes you want to talk about getting out of getting a drastic situation this is a drastic situation man this is a drastic situation yo big mom's out here singing the chala he shala man chama and i mean she she's she's floating bro she's floating Goodness gracious, man. I'll see y'all next time. Have an awesome day. Let me know if you th if you can think of any type of scenario where the straw has can escape and Jimmy doesn't die. And if you can't, man, uh, well, I, uh, you, 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 you guys are, are incredible when it comes to your comments. So I'll, I'll look forward to seeing your comments. I'm, I really am this week. Um, I, I do every single week, but this week especially. I really want to see if you guys can come up with anything to how the straws can get out of the situation. Because Luffy's with Kata Curry. And this is the thing about Hokie Island, man. And, and, and... It's like every single thing, it's like everything just keeps elevating, elevating, elevating. You're like, how, bro? It's just like, it's making me, it's leading me to believe that they're not going to be able to meet up at the end. They're going to have to escape something. I don't know, bro. I'll see you all next time. Man. I'll see you all next time. I'm going to have to reread this chapter uh, and and see and see what goes down, man. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and upload this, though. Have an awesome day, guys.